Uh, and I think this is really where it has to be a, a state and local conversation on looking at the data. It has to start with looking at the, the data. Um, I think about the line of uh, Tip O'Neill in a very different context, but all politics is local. <laughs> and you know, shortages are just the, the same. And, and understanding uh, where are the shortages, uh, why is this happening, um, where, where is it happening, before you can have the, the sort of uh, knowing how to address the issues, you need to know, is there a special education shortage in my state? Is there high teacher turnover of math and science teachers in my state in high need areas? Um, this is, it, it has to be a state uh, directed conversation. Some, too many times um, we find in, in education we go right for the intervention and don't sort of look at the root cause of the problem and know what the scope, the scope of it, it is. And I think of um, the work of Ellen Sherratt, who was at AIR and now at National Board, and she, she spoke about it. I think it's the perfect term that before you're going into this conversation, it's uh, looking at multiple data points, but it's having a coherent dialogue and a common language for how you're talking about that. Because we all talk about teacher shortages, we talk about teacher turnover, but we first need to know, and this is particularly important on the state level, to know uh, what are the terms we're talking about, what are the specific issues that we're dealing with, then we'll know how to to address it. So, uh, you know, along those lines, um, at the National Governors Association, in advance of the 2018 election, what we're working on developing is identifying what are those decision-making tools that governors can use to get to the root cause. You know, cause analyses. There's been some great work done. Um, I think about Minnesota with their teacher uh, shortage uh, predictor uh, or the teacher and supply demand reports. They made it very um, actionable. And, and as well as Missouri and Arkansas with teacher shortage predictor tools. So what kind of planning tools can be in place if we're going to break this, this cycle of teacher shortages and teacher turnover? It's going to be because there's been planning ahead on the issue um, and, and setting that, that in motion.